Hey guys, it's Reese. Welcome back to the channel. So, you're not going to want to miss this live stream. I'm opening about a little bit close to uh, 20 cars in total in this live stream and doing Subscriber's Choice Race 5. And a uh, questions and answer part um, before I jump into the um, racing part, actually. So, while I'm opening these cars, that's when I'm doing the Q&A. And I'll probably wrap up the live with a separate Q&A if you weren't able to ask questions before the racing is done for subscribers to race race five. Um, so yeah, not going to want to miss this live. I'm going to show the cars that I'm opening at this live, and then I'll also show the cars that will be raced at this live. Now, some of these cars that I'm opening will also be raced as well, which are mostly just be these Hot Wheels cars, because the premium ones, like these ones here, aren't going to be raced, because they're really nice, and, uh, just don't want to, you know, have the paint and nice details of those cars get more worn by putting them down the racetrack, so yeah. Now, you're going to want to stick around to see what's inside that, because that was a really nice find at Diecast today. Two Ferraris as well from Colorado Diecast. This is a Zamac one, actually. That's like an old school, um, like... F1 or Grand Prix IndyCar. A brand new red edition, because most of the Target stores that are not too far from me rarely have red editions that long, or any, to be honest. This is a 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countach. I do not have a 25th anniversary version of this car. I think I have a Diablo or some other Countach, I think, but not any in this particular color, especially with the number one and the word Lamborghini on the car as well. This was the roof I've been waiting for to find out that diecast store. So glad I have it. Because they actually um, told me, for the people that are, you know, work um, at that place, they um, said this one's not on the shelves for too long. This one I couldn't pass up. I just really like Bentley race cars in total. So, couldn't pass up that one, especially this one. This. SVJ Roadster in this, like, gold color. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the um, actual color name, but I'll give it a shot, I guess. Um, Oro Elios, however you pronounce that. But some really nice gold color, and that was the Bugatti I've been waiting for. Now, I'm not going to pronounce the last name, but it's a really newer Bugatti from, like, the Bugatti um, production line for the cars they have in real life. This Pagani Zonda HP... Barachetta, Barachetta, however you pronounce the car's full name, because I think this um, part of the car's name is Italian, and, you know, not the best at speaking Italian or French, which is why I'm not going to try pronouncing that part of the car's name, but I have a guess of what it could be, um, since, uh, since, uh, Deutsche, Deutsche, however you pronounce that, but, yeah, I'm just giving it my best shot of pronouncing that car's full name, so, yeah. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it not correct, but, you know, like I said, I don't speak French or Italian that well, so sorry if I'm off on that. But, yeah, this car in real life, 15 million, 7.3 liter V12, 790 horsepower. This has more horsepower than any of the Pugani's um, prior to um, their newer ones that are coming out this year and probably with in later 2023 and 2024 as well. So, yeah. And it just looks super cool in that blue color, so couldn't pass it up. Now, this one was really nice, too, because it's a Nismo one. Yep, that's right. It's a Nissan R32 Nismo S-Tune in a really nice dark blue color. Um, this one has 533 horsepower. It is four-wheel drive, or all-wheel drive. Um, top speed of 200, or a little bit over 200 miles per hour. So, yeah, um... Then there's a couple Hot Wheels cars. I already shared the ones I got from the diecast store. These are from a collector friend. So yeah, gonna open those as well. This is a Hennessy Camaro from 2011, and they actually um, said that uh, they just got this one as of um, yesterday at the diecast store. So yeah, really glad to see that there because it wasn't there the past few times I've been there. This car in real life, 1,021 horsepower. This has more horsepower than probably any um, road-going car back in the 2010s period, unless it's like some other like really high-end performance car. 
that, you know, was made by Hennessy or some other tuning company. You're really not going to want to miss the live to see what's in that. And yes, that's a much a cause for what's in there, but you'll see why shortly. Well, that's it for this preview video of the cars I'm opening at the live stream today. Bye everyone, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your weekend.